We take security seriously at iLock. With a cloud-based solution such as our iLock S50 mobile access management platform, system security is a top priority. We know that no communication channel is secure in itself. That's why we make sure all safety-critical data and communications is protected by strong AES-256 encryption. A decentralized solution ensures that the loss or breach of one element does not compromise the security of your entire iLock S50 infrastructure. So, what does this mean in practice? Let's start with the PC you use to manage your iLock S50 solution. Not only does the client software require login credentials for access, but you also need to have possession of the programming token, which connects to the PC via USB. The third and final element of this decentralized solution is your customer database, which lives in our ISO-certified iLock cloud. Each customer has their own isolated SQL server database, completely separate from other databases. So, all three, a PC running the client software, the programming token, and the cloud-based customer database server, are needed for security-critical operations, such as programming keys. Still, the user experience has been designed to make the S50 easy to use, regardless of the strong, layered security happening in the background. Then we come to sharing access rights over the air to your key, an NFC-enabled Android smartphone with the iLock S50 app installed. Encrypted access rights are sent over an HTTPS tunnel, while the server verifies mobile device authenticity with strong PKI-based authentication. In addition to Android's numerous layers of protection, the iLock app itself applies state-of-the-art in-app protection techniques to protect against cyber attacks. The app simply won't work with rooted devices, which violate Android's basic security principles. Your alternative key, the iLock key fob, is an isolated embedded device that receives encrypted access rights from the server via the programming token or via phone through the Bluetooth 4.2 communication. An attempt to hack the fob or use brute force will trigger protection mode. To open an iLock S50 lock, NFC is used. Mutual authentication takes place between the devices, and the encrypted access rights are also session encrypted for the duration of the transmission session between the phone and lock, making each communication session unique. A similar protocol is used when accessing a lock using your key fob. A single audit trail is sent back to the server after each opening attempt, when the Gateway app is in operation. With all this technology, we often find that the human component, the user, is often the final security risk. We have numerous security features in place to help minimize these risks. For example, the iLock app will only work once you've unlocked your phone with a PIN or your fingerprint. Also, in case of a lost phone, the client software can be used to blacklist the mobile device instantly, even without the programming token. We still urge all of our clients to pay attention to the aspects of organizational security that only they can affect, such as having centralized mobile device management, up-to-date antivirus software, and strict control over device handover and disposal. The iLock S50 mobile access management platform has been meticulously designed with two key features in mind, usability and security. In the right hands, it offers easy and safe access management for organizations such as utilities that regularly deal with a large number of both locks and key holders. iLock S50, unlocking a world of possibilities securely.